Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me on this Sunday afternoon. I'm on my mom's way to have dinner. First and foremost, I want to introduce you to my dog here. His name is Chase. You'll be seeing him throughout the video. There he is. So first and foremost, I want to start out with the fact that Easter is not the holiday everybody believes it to be. In fact, I've gone over this in other videos, but I want to address it again really quickly because it ties into the basis of what I want to talk about in this video. So what they did with Easter is basically imply a revisionist history model onto the entire calendar and into all of our beliefs. And in turn, what happens is they have convinced us to worship on days where the luminaries above our heads are not in their intended positions for that original holiday. In turn, we are giving our energy to the wrong entities, the wrong luminaries, therefore feeding the system of perpetual anarchy that we see around us every single day instead of feeding our actual energy to the right sources that we believe we're feeding it to. It's all a giant game of deception. And they've managed to do this with a revisionist history. Basically what they do is they take everything and change it to suit their needs, okay? In turn, creating a system that is a circle and perpetuates the same outcome over and over again, manipulating us to manifest their reality instead of us manifesting what we want to. Now, this is happening in the current day, and I want everybody to open their eyes as to what's going on politically, what's going on as far as the flat earth, what's going on as far as censorship in general and how they are targeting certain segments of the population, certain events, certain characteristics, and certain beliefs. There is no coincidence that they are doing this. Everybody can open their eyes and witness it if you look at what they've done to Alex Jones. If you look at what they've done to channels like mine that are out there spreading alternative beliefs and alternative views. They are no doubt censoring us. In turn, they are taking away the truth that people like me choose to spread. They're taking that truth and getting rid of it. In turn, they are getting rid of the truth completely to the point where they can spread their narrative and their model and their propaganda all over the radio waves and make it reality. This in and of itself is how revisionist history gets a foothold to begin with. And it's gotten to the point where it doesn't take one, two generations of the youth being indoctrinated. Rather, all it takes is shutting somebody up like me who wants to speak the truth and going out there and pushing the complete opposite all over the mainstream media subjectively, fucking subconsciously, objectively. It doesn't matter how they're doing it. It's there. They're using all three methods. What's even more shocking is the fact that the subversion, for example, when it comes to flat earth, is so insane that they're hitting it on subconscious levels over and over and over again. How many speeches did Barack Obama equate people of the flat earth society to complete morons? Which he was being entirely accurate, but at the same time, he didn't realize that people that subscribe to the flat earth, the majority of them know that the flat earth society is nothing more than a disinformation campaign, which is revisionist history in and of itself. However, it works on layers upon layers. You see, if you discredit the information that's being discredited, you discredit the entire movement, okay? So the fact that the Flat Earth Society exists at all is a tell that yes, disinformation is everywhere. Because if you become the go-to source for this fringe topic like the Flat Earth Society is for the mainstream, you get introduced to a whole bunch of concepts that are just logical fallacy after logical fallacy in turn turning you off to the entire narrative and the entire movement without having a clear grasp of the model or the concepts that it takes to know what's actually going on based upon your observations, okay? And this is what they are doing over and over again. So when Barack Obama 
gets on stage and discredits the discreditors, it just adds another layer of obfuscation from the truth. And that's exactly their goal. And this is happening over and over again in movie after movie and because it's gaining more mainstream popularity and the fact that Behind the Curve came out and it's garnered so much attention, they have to subvert from the truth because they're left with no other alternative. Now, they're doing the same exact thing when you look at the political side of the coin as far as Trump and the Mueller report with the Russian collusion and the Russian PP dossier, etc., etc. I found out that it's actually etc., not etc., like Americans pronounce it. It's actually ETC, not ECT, just a fun fact. But they're doing the same thing when it comes to the political sphere. And if you look throughout history, they take smaller smaller steps constantly lead to a just a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, and a little bit bigger. But what technology has allowed them to do is quicken the pace at which they're taking these baby steps to the point where a small step is no longer a small step because they happen so quickly it's indistinguishable from a giant leap. You guys get what I'm saying? So what you have to realize is, even though there's people out here like me that are talking about Trump, and I get a lot of you guys do not like the two-party system, you don't like Trump, I get it, and I understand why, and I've lost quite a few subscribers touching on this whole thing. But the thing you have to realize is, if I don't sit here and tell you how I see things, it's going to be erased from history. Okay, YouTube could easily delete every video I've ever made and there's no way that I'm going to be able to save it because I don't have access to those videos because I'm recording on my phone because I don't have a computer, which I'm trying to save up money to get, but life presents its challenges, right? And they constantly do that to us as well. They constantly give us challenge after challenge after challenge that we really shouldn't have to face in order to live the life we want to live. Like, I shouldn't have to sacrifice everything to have a child, which is what I want to do, which is what I'm working for right now, okay? So all these little pleasures that I want, like buying a computer, I can't do that in good faith knowing that I want to have a child because it, it doesn't work towards that goal. And the more and more they make these goals harder and harder to achieve, the more and more they distract you from what's going on to the point where you accept what you see at face value if everything you see is telling you the same thing, of course you're going to think that is the truth. What sense do they have to lie for it, right? What motivation may they have? But you have to realize that even back in World War II, Hitler's propaganda team understood very early on that if you lie to the people often enough, they will believe anything. Now, I'd like to take that one step further. The more and more you lie, and the more and more those lies become believable, the easier and easier it is for you to lie and manipulate the people around you, correct? Therefore, it is easier in turn to make those little lies add up to one big lie, okay? So when they lie to you about something simple that you just bypass, like when they tell you that they changed the, um, the atmosphere to include the moon, right? That's a little tiny change, right? Most people glance over and they accept it as okay, that's truth. But you never ask yourself the bigger question of what if. Now, if the moon is now inside of our atmosphere, that makes absolutely no sense because all of modern history, all of modern astronomy has told us the complete opposite. They just changed that little fact. And it's not only that it's a little fact, right? It's a giant fact, but it's just overlooked because everybody's so distracted. And if people started poking and prodding at that part of the equation of the moon being inside of the atmosphere, people would very clearly realize that the reason the moon is now inside of the atmosphere of the Earth is because of people like me asking questions as to how things can operate 
with there being a closed system that is Earth and space, and now they're going to bring everything that you see into the sky, into the atmosphere, one by one. The moon was just that first tiny little implement to test society and see how society took the lie. And you know what? We've been lied to so frequently that we can't seem to understand that a tiny little thing like the moon being inside of our atmosphere makes their entire house of cards tumble down if enough of us question it. And the same thing goes for politics. People are freaking out about Julian Assange getting arrested. I'll tell you right now. Julian Assange is arrested right now because Julian Assange wants to play ball right now, okay? The Ecuadorian embassy has kept Julian Assange inside of that embassy for seven years almost, okay? You have to realize that there are no coincidences in this world. Absolutely none. Not on a stage as grand as geopolitical politics. Not when you have a player like Julian Assange who has the dirt on everybody. Julian Assange knows where the bodies are buried on both sides, okay? That's why both sides are looking at Julian Assange as a threat, as they should, as they should. Julian Assange chose to put himself in this position. He knew he was making himself a target. He knew that he was very well violating several statutes that may be on the books preventing him from distributing that information. Now, he's in a gray area when it comes to the United States. In other countries, it's very clear that he broke the law, but he knows where the bodies are buried. So as soon as Donald Trump gets cleared on the Mueller report, which is just a giant distraction at this point, and the Democrats are using it to revise history and change what the actual special investigation was supposed to be about in the original memo as to motive for the investigation, which was to look for collusion. However, they're going to try to change the original motivation of that investigation into a whole bunch of other stuff and obfuscate from the truth of the matter, which is the fact that the Democrats are actually the ones that colluded with Russia. And they are revising history to distract from that fact and try to place it on Donald Trump. But Julian Assange coming into the picture as soon as Donald Trump is clean and clear and now the DOJ has the resources to focus somewhere else, of course they're bringing Julian Assange into the equation because they're going to bring Hillary Clinton to justice. Not just Hillary Clinton. When I say Hillary Clinton, I mean the entire machine behind her. The entire machine that her family funds. Okay? Now... Julian Assange has been gathering information this entire time through WikiLeaks. When I say Julian Assange, I mean the entity that is WikiLeaks, okay? And WikiLeaks has been gathering information this entire time. All of this has been going on since Donald Trump decided he was going to run. Julian Assange getting extradited back to the United States is the death nail in anything that either the Republicans or the Democrats are going to try to throw in the face of the populist movement that is Make America Great Again. It's a grand, it's a grand stage. It's an absolute grand stage. Now you have to look back at the past events that have happened as far as Julian Assange and the CIA. Now, there was a flight from Langley that went out to London, and we saw a bunch of guys that went in there dressed in SWAT gear. Now, I'm assuming that they went in there to talk to Julian Assange and see if he wanted to play ball. Now, you see, there's no way that they could have communicated with him because Ecuador cut off his internet, cut off his phone, cut off all of his access. So the only way you're going to be able to confirm person to person with Julian Assange that he's ready to play ball is to get people there to talk to him. Now, you can't just walk into the Ecuadorian embassy, so how the hell else are you going to do that, right? A lot of people thought Julian Assange was fucking abducted from that whole situation, and I think that was all a stage. How easy would it have been to put up one of the operatives that went in to go secure the meeting with Julian Assange in a bag with handcuffs on to make people think Julian wasn't there? You have to realize history is there for you to observe and record on your own. Don't believe everything everybody tells you. 
This censorship we are seeing right now is nothing more than revisionist history being implemented daily in front of our eyes. Wake up and witness it, people. It's only a matter of time before they push hard to change everything. And if they silence my voice, they silence yours. We are done. Have a great holiday. Remember, it's not the holiday you think it is. Enjoy the time with your family because family is everything you have. From me to you and yours, Chase, come here. Chase and I want to say goodbye and have a great holiday. Take care.